He was dating this girl that was a surfer. And let me try to f find it because I posted on my page. He's dating this girl that's a surfer, which, by the way, we're going to be accountable and we're going to admit. If you're dating a girl that's being a surfer, she's probably going to be in bikinis sometimes, right? However, it doesn't seem like that was the main thing that he was mad about. He was trying to create some boundaries with her to say, yo, shorty, like certain things that you're doing, that shit is making me feel upset. I'm not comfortable with it. And I need to make some boundaries that I could feel okay. And I'm not going to lie, people attacked him. People called him uh, called him weak. So let me, let me read these texts that he pretty much sent at her. This is him texting her. I think this is her. So I can find her Instagram or something like that. Jonah Hill girlfriend. Let me see if I can find it. Look, they call they call the, the text emotional abuse. Oh my god, bro. Her name is Sarah Brady. Okay. Let's look at her Instagram. Sarah Brady Instagram. Like, first and foremost, let's see if she's fuckable. All right. Damn, she got that elongated back. She had to literally sit down for this shit to curve. <laughs> oh, hell no. Nah. This one of them flat back pancake bitches. I ain't gonna lie, though. Sometimes chicks with flat ass to be having the most fire pussy. Though. I ain't gonna hold you. But uh, this is her. Whatever the case is. I right, bet. It ain't really got nothing. This is what we call a plain Jane right here. This her? Nigga, this bitch look like Dave Portnoy. From Barstools. Okay, whatever. Anyway. um, This is what uh, he said to her. He said, yo, plain and simple. If you need... And he's listening to a bunch of things. Surfing with men. Boundaryless, inappropriate friendships with men. To model. Oh, shit. <laughs> to post pictures of yourself in a bathing suit. Holy. You can tell this nigga just watched a fucking episode of Fresh and Fit. To post sexual pictures. Friendships with women who are in unstable places or uh, uh, and from your wild recent while recent past beyond getting lunch or coffee or something respectful, I ain't the right partner for you. If these things bring you to a place of happiness, I support it, and there will be no hard feelings. These are my boundaries for a romantic partnership. My boundaries with you, based on the ways, uh, on the ways these actions have hurt our trust. He then says, "Take some accountability and operate with respect." It's simple, because I'm tired of your attitude towards surf culture, and that contest and that place because i deserve respect period i have been more than patient and shit like this is still here fuck that contest fuck that place and fuck not respecting me always in every situation within the surf culture or you don't get it and you don't get me it's hurtful and unacceptable to me get it i don't know if you get it or care um or give a shit more than me what or give a shit about that shit more than me even after dr stern has said it loud and clear then he basically says literally just say hello and leave the convo i love how your therapists think i suck i'm literally the best boyfriend on earth then she says that made me feel like you're testing to see if i should keep it if you should keep me around and dump me because there's something wrong with me, like I'm a nerdy, dorky, unaware, naive, idiot. Socially, I hear you. She says, your, your words, not mine. Hey, um, I give my thoughts on it, man. I think it's a little complicated here because her work, which, you know, surfing. By the way, I don't know if this woman makes any money from surfing, right? It might just be a fucking hobby. Right. And bitches will tell you that they, their hobbies all involve them being naked around men. You get what I mean? Like, like, yeah, I love Pilates, but I'm at, I'm doing Pilates with a bunch of niggas that want to fuck. You get what I mean? Like, again, if it's her work and it's providing her with income, like I would say, if he knew this going in, 
unless he's willing to take care of her, which by the way, I do believe he's willing to take care of her, it's Jonah Hill, he shouldn't complain about, right? Like, you know, shit, for example, they say if you meet a girl in a strip club and if she's, she's dancing, you can't get mad at her, continue to dance while she's with you if you met her while she was dancing, especially if you're not providing for her because now she's losing income. Now, I don't know if this, again, you know, the surf culture, she probably is getting paid or something, or maybe she's competing, contests, I guess she's a model or whatever the case is. She don't look like one, but she claims, by the way, all these bitches claim to be a model. It's all good. I would say that um, I don't think he's being emotionally abusive. I think he just can't handle his woman being scantily dressed around a bunch of dudes and also her interactions made him feel appropriate. By the way, I don't, I have no problem if she says, yo, listen, I still want to do the surfing thing and you can't deal with it. I'm going to just leave. And I think that's a really grown up discussion, but anything that these days that doesn't allow a woman to be a complete whore, you're now emotionally or mentally abusing her. No, he's giving her a choice. He said, yo, if you're going to keep with these habits, we can't be together. That's very fair and very reasonable. If you ask me, if you could acquiesce, we could be together. If you can't, all right, you know, wish you the best of luck. Let's move on. However, this woman apparently put all these messages out to make him look like he's abusing her. I don't think that's the case. I think he just got boundaries. Now, granted, I'm not backing him up on everything he's saying because if he didn't meet her while she's while she was a surfer, well, I don't know too many female surfers, so who you think she's gonna be surfing with? Men, right? Um, um, most of those women, if your boundary is her being a model, it probably is a deeper thing. You probably just don't want to show her body off. Look, oh, post, post pictures of yourself in a bathing suit. Bro, that's going to come with it. Like, you don't date a surfer if you don't want her to po post herself at the fucking beach. That doesn't make sense. Now, again, all these other things, uh, you know, I think he probably was at a breaking point where he, wait, hold on. Never mind, fuck this hoe. This bitch is cloud chasing. Nigga, I just had to look at the date on this. It said December 2. Tell me my eyesight's bad. Is this 2021? This bitch kept the text from two years ago. Fuck this hoe. Never mind. Forget what she was talking about. This bitch is cloud chasing. She posted a goddamn text from two years ago. Let me tell you, man. Bitches will be with you sucking your dick, getting fucked by you, and still holding evidence that they can later try to expose you with, man. These hoes ain't shit. Fuck with this. The, the, he, ain't, he ain't emotionally abusing you. You are just being a scummy individual even trying to release all this type of stuff about a private relationship you have. This is the problem we live in. This is the, We live in an era now where people, when people can't, get, can't resolve their issues privately, they bring it to the internet hoping the internet shames the other person to acquiesce. The fuck you post? I thought this shit was going to be like from last month. This bitch posted some shit from 2021. That's another thing with, 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 with the majority of women. They act like they're fucking children. If he, this is the old conversation I had. I don't know when they broke up, but you should go along your merry way. Just dip, leave. You don't need to post this in retrospect that to, to, to be seen or felt like the victim. Just, just leave. I'm telling you, every woman I've dealt with, you get to a point of diminishing returns where they start doing dumb shit or they start posting shit like this, and it always comes down to this, my feelings. My feelings, my feelings, but my feelings, my feelings. You got to treat women like they're fucking like children. Like, you see, just like I treat Pluto, that's how you almost got to treat these women, bro. Because they can't be logical adults to say, all right, cool, I mean, granted, there's love involved, but like, yo, he says he's not cool with this. You still want to do this. Leave. It's it. It's leave. All right. No, Mary, it was a case dismissed, man. Get this bitch out of my courtroom, dog. Case fucking dismissed. I thought this shit was recent. She posted this shit from 2021. I can't believe it. Nah, I'm good. I'm good, bro. All right, let's get into this Wine Number Melly case, man. 
Oh, Boom says she doing that because he got a baby on the way with a new woman. These fucking scallywags, man. They don't want you happy with them, and they for sure don't want you happy without them. Ain't that the truth, y'all? They don't want you. When you with them, you can't get no peace. And when you ain't with them, they still don't want you to find your peace. She posts up, see the misuse of the term boundaries. You know what, though? I'm going to blame Jonah Hill, man. This nigga was, this nigga wifed up an adjustable four. And this motherfucking bitch, and, and he's worth 20 plus million. And this bitch was posted, was picking, posting bikini pictures over being with him. Bitch got her priorities fucked up. Bitch got her priorities fucked up. Bitch, you got the bag. Don't fumble the bag. Bitch on some Aisha Curry shit. The bitch fumbled the bag for 10 comments. Look, 10 comments. Are you crazy? Now, after she fumbled the bag, she mad at another bitch who picked up the bag. This is what he probably was sending the message. Yo, bitch, could you stop fucking posting you in a bikini with your thought friends? I don't like your thought fucking friends. Please. Now, let me tell you this about women. They never get the bigger picture because women live in in a la la world. Like they're like they're like they're like they're, they're like they're like Walking Dead. They're, they're just like uh, uh, that, that's them. You know why he's probably saying this? Take it from me. Just take it from me. Take it from me. You know why he's probably saying this? It's not because he's some insecure old. I don't want niggas to see my girl. By the way, I think it's natural, by the way, if you don't want everybody to stare at your girl almost semi-naked. But, you know, women are going to be like, no, that's a bikini picture. Everybody does. I'm going to tell you why. Where Jonah Hill is in Hollywood, it's about presentation. Everybody, for the most part, they're either married or their wives are a great representation of them. That matters though over, over a while. It matters. Because it precedes the, these arguments, or it precedes, every time you walk in the room, when he has to walk into the Oscars, guess who's going to be on his arm? Her. Hey, what do you do? Oh, yeah, I just post thotty pictures online. Oh, shit. Snigle. So it's kind of almost secondhand embarrassment for him. You're dealing with a big dog in the game. Right now, granted, I'm still blaming him because, bro, you clearly want her to act in a way that's not embarrassing you. This bitch don't even think this is embarrassing. All she think about is that shit. You need a like, and by the way, we men, I do this too. We, we are to be blamed for this. The person you're with don't see the bigger picture. They don't see, yo, okay. Yeah, maybe there's nothing inherently wrong with your behavior. For example, posting bikini pictures. But you're with a A-list celebrity who you could imagine in those country clubs where he be at, how they talking about, like, you look like dirt. He's just trying to say, damn, bitch, at least, at least come off a little bit more classy. Like, bitch, you know, we got to go to the Oscars. This bitch can't even think about that. In her mind, she's like, oh, he's trying to control me. No, bitch, I'm trying to sign another movie deal for 30 million. I got to go around these people. We bringing our spouses. We doing this. Everybody's befriending each other. You know some of his Hollywood friends because he probably brought her to meet them. That's how it goes. They're, they're like, oh, what's your Instagram? They're following her. They're like, damn, this, this nigga wife the hoe. <laughs> so he's trying to tell her in a way like, yo, bro, could you not? Do some of these things that could be making my image look bad. You know what a woman says? You're a narcissist. You're a narcissist. <laughs> what you mean make you look bad? You're a narcissist. No, it ain't, bitch. You're here because the bag is here. The bag is here. Why is the bag here? I'm a great actor. Cool. But also, there's an image to uphold. There's an image that could be tarnished. Do you like the bag? All these bitches, of course, I love the bag.
Let me tell you this, man. This is why I always got to give so much props to Savannah James. That's her name, right? Yeah. The queen. We ain't see one embarrassing moment with her and LeBron. She ain't never embarrassed LeBron. She ain't trying to show her ass on the gram. She don't be on the Aisha Curry shit saying she want people to like her. She don't need to do nothing but be a great mom, be a great wife. You know why? By the way, of course they got problems. But the lifestyle and everything that she has probably also, she probably went through pain and strife. You know what I mean? Probably issues that she probably had with LeBron, but she got to hold it close to the chest. You're with, you're with the biggest athlete in the world. One of. If you go online and, and start putting up, and if Savannah went online, and you know when all these bitches are mad with their niggas? They, they just start quoting some thought shit. Well, I'm back outside tonight. <laughs> Somebody take me to Pound Town. <laughs> if she does anything even close to that, she could put up a random city girl lyric. It's fucking a windstorm. Everybody's going to make shit up. So she got it. Like, even if he does some fuck shit, she got to hold it down. You got to respect a chick like that. These type of bitches right here, man. Bad enough she's an adjustable fool. Like, Jesus. Nigga, she should be on her best fucking behavior, nigga. This bitch should be on her best fucking behavior. Fumbled the goddamn bag. He got a new girl? Let me see his new girl. Jonah Hill, new girl. New girl. I got to see this shit. Oh, his new, Olivia Millar. Let me see. Olivia... Yo, I know this. I know this one celebrity. I won't give out who it is. He has the best idea. He says he said he he says a lot of times he he'll date women who aren't influencers, rappers, or athletes. He likes date non celebrities. He says his his thing is they got to deactivate their social media before he starts dating them because intuitively all they do is fuck shit. Women women. It's like from as soon as God decided if they're gonna have a X and Y chromosome or two X's, it's like they he just put a fucking either clout chase or or just like this vanity gene into them that no matter what, if you chick on a gram, she's gonna end up uh, uh, embarrassing, especially if she get attention. Okay, let me see this. Jonah, oh, the, oh, the X bitch is mad. The ex releases new text claiming he was sexting her before new romance. <sniffs> Bitch, you're old fucking news. <laughs> get out of here. Okay, this is new girl. What the fuck? Wait, hold on, let me just get this. Let's move on. Let's move on. <sighs> Hopefully for his sake, she has some feminine qualities. And what I mean feminine qualities, not being a feminist, but she knows how to shut the fuck up. Let this man make the bag, stay in the background. Yo, you know certain things these days. And I was watching um, uh, my boy Tate. He's doing an interview with um, um, Tucker Carlson, and, and he said about like he was certain like he didn't say this directly, but I also thought about this. Right, what was usually said when you're with somebody um, who like, but it's, it's both ways though. It's both ways. Like for example. Say I was like, you know, I don't know. I have like this regular job and, and I'm dating the CEO that happens to be a female, right? She brings me to her holiday party, right? I'm this regular guy. I'm working out, you know, let's say I'm like the manager at Walmart. And, and my chick is the CEO of a Fortune 500 company. She brings me to the holiday party. It's kind of natural to say, well, obviously not for me because I don't think I'm attracted like that. But like, yo, just look pretty and shut the fuck up. I think that's, that's, that applies to men and women, right? Like, 
Don't go to the holiday party and embarrass the person who's a CEO. If you say that now when it comes to women, right? Like, if you're like, yo, listen, sit there, shut the fuck up, and look pretty. That's supposedly mad misogynistic. But in reality, that's kind of what you should, that's the role you should kind of play if you're with a nigga who got some shit going on. Don't fuck it up. All right, anyway. I won't even call it, like, listen, I, I'm pretty sure she got a good soul, a good heart. Hopefully she, she could play the background, be quiet. I think she's pregnant, raise some kids. You know what I mean? Be a good mother. Be a good mother. You feel me? Jesus. Where does he find them? Let me tell you, there's something going on in Hollywood, man. Well, Tiger not really in Hollywood, is he? There is a reservoir or of mid bitches that every like anytime there's certain niggas, they always would admit. You're like, what? Yo, Tiger Woods had 18 side bitches. And they nigga. And all of them on average was like a four. I've been trying to do like almost a study on that. I would think that Tiger Woods would be fucking the baddest bitches that would walk this planet. All the bitches he was fucking were for us. There was not one bad one in there. I'm like, what the fuck? Jonah Hill and Tiger was like NBA young boy, man. They'll, they'll find these bitches anywhere, bro. But I'm like that too. All right, let me just move off of this. Uh, um, um, congrats to him and his, his current situation. Uh, the ex bitch that's mad... Listen, this is a problem with you whores. Okay, let me just say this last one thing. Okay? You focus on too many girls' girls nights out. This bitch don't even look... Yo, she don't even look good enough to be out in the clubs every night. Bitch, you should be at the house cooking. Second of all, she forgot the golden rule. And this is for all women who deal with guys who either got some bread or whatever. Bitch, you haven't won until you either get the ring or at least a kid. Even when you get the kid, you might even win. Some of these niggas is some of these chicks is crashing out before they get to the end goal and then get mad when another girl get the shit. Yeah. It's losing peace, man. Look at this bitch. All right. Let's get this wind up in Melly Case, man. Um, I know there's probably a couple more topics to to delve in on. I don't even know why I got so passionate about that, that shit, bro.